Hello with it, well, my name is Sophia welcome to my brand new type of review. Today's review is going to be on a movie that came out like a month ago in the start of my brand new series, and that is movie reviews. So, now, I know I said I was going to do starting movie reviews next month in June, but I might as well do it now since, well, I want to get something new on my channel. As, as we all know, I don't want to just do LPs, I actually want to do. I think I talked about this during um the second episode of Ghostly Adventures 2 on my LP. And, yeah. So, let's get started. So, yeah. So, this is where, a series where I just talk on my cover zone and I don't have to be limited to what I speak about. But today, let's start off with Turning Red. Which is currently being reviewed on by, by Christians and many other types of people, including Karens, but we're not going to get into that. And started a bunch of controversies, even though this is, you know what, I'll speak about that during the review, but anyways, let's get started. So, what's the story? So the story is about a 13-year-old old girl, Maylin Lee. Maylin Lee. Only who is a nerdy, dorky girl who who loves hanging out with her friends and does her best to keep to do stuff at her grades up at school naturally. And and one day, day mind you, I have mind you, I'm just describing it in my own cheesy way, so don't take everything I'm saying seriously. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Basically, after that happened, basically, her friends are wondering that why is she going up so early. Early, she goes to her mother Ming. Ming, who is a bit overprotective, different overbearing, somewhat. After the quick month, we things unfortunately happen. After her dueling, dueling, she encounters a little picture. She heads to the uh. She heads to the, um, what is it? What is it? She heads over to the corner store. Or to the 17 year old guy. That she, that she was drawing a thing. And, well, uh, <sighs> trying to remember on the top of my head. Um, draw, uh, second thing. What's the second thing? I'm so bad at remembering things sometimes. Anyways, that happens one time she had a weird dream, and she turns into a red pen, which is basically what the movie is about. And basically, the red pen is just basically symbol is a symbol is a symbol for puberty. Anyway, uh, so the one thing that many people now when I saw the trailer back when it first came out last year, I actually liked the animation. Some people on Twitter actually actually said that. The Pixar went off, but let them experiment. They're trying to experiment with different animation. And some anime style and some and some 2D animation is actually in this movie. So 2D ain't completely dead. So yeah. And it really shows in the, some of the animation. Um what else? What else? Um, let's see. This I actually do like the story and the animation and the characters. So let's talk about the characters. So May, so May, May actually that does have a good. So May is a bit bizarre to the change, but it turns out that that thanks to an explanation um, from her mother, explanation from her, she said that. That you know what? I'm gonna let. I'm not gonna like say too much because I want you guys to experience the movie for yourselves. So I'm just gonna go off of a weird thing here. So basically, her mother, her dot, explains why this happens because each generation is supposed to be given a blessing, not a curse. She thinks it is, but her mother tries to explain that it isn't. Now. Because it happened to her. And that's like the best way I can explain it. And 
you can really tell considering that uh um uh, you can tell because she said that because Ming said herself that she had two. But anyway, let's get on to the characters. Now, May used to be a goody, a goody goody, and stuff like that. But here she gets to be herself. Oh, and basically, the movie's message is basically being your true self, which is a good thing because I want to be my true self too. Um, I was on the top of my head. I need to mention. Uh, we have. I'm trying to remember all the characters' names, mind you. So. Forgive me if I don't know too much, considering that this actually is one of my top five favorite movies of all time, alongside Pixar. But anyway, uh, what else I'm thinking? Uh, I'm trying to remember the top of my head. So, Priya, who is well, the main main best friend, as I like to call, call. Well, Ming doesn't like her because her because Ming thinks her friends are a bad influence on her, and it's it's some um, around the scene like after Tyler's party, birthday party, um, um, Ming, uh, Ming blames blames Ming's main friend friends for nibbling her, even though it was all her. She, you know what? If I, you know what? I'm not gonna say too much, considering that the movie just came out like a mo came out like a month ago. So, I actually, like I said before, I want you guys to experience the movie for yourself because I think it's a really good time. Uh, what else? On to the animation. I actually do like the animation. The movement of the mouse needs could get getting used to, and May trying to to overcome her red panda is is actually fun in itself. I thought the humor was funny too. I, I remember there was this one scene when May tried to hide in the bathroom. There was a girl that was like, "OMG," and May just cut cut her off because that was actually funny and just puts her back into the stall. That's funny. Mind you, I'm just going on the top of my head again because remembering the whole. I should have rewatched the movie before doing this review, but sometimes I think on the top of my head what I think, but. After this, move, but, yeah, um, what else? This is not going to be a too long review, I'm just going to think, and, my, and, you know, I'll talk about it in the video. And, it's actually, I think that the animation is fun, even though it could get been getting used to, and, I like how it's somewhat mature, has some jokes that aren't too mature, but it shows that that this is trying to mature with science, which I'm fine with. But um, that's like the best way I can describe it. So uh, what do I know? Um, uh, sorry for the total silence, I'm trying to think what else I should add. I don't want to add too much, because I actually want you guys to experience the movie for yourselves. So, what else? Um, I thought that the climax was just funny. I know some people say it's a bit silly, but it actually works for the movies, for what the movie's tone. So, um, what else? I will say, in my thing, I, oh my gosh, I really should have planned the script because I can't think of anything. <laughs> Great. Anyway, overall, my final thoughts on the movie, I think that the movie is really good. I think it's a bit too, it's being a bit too bashed, bashed from critics and different types of people. But, and I know there's like the Mr. Enter controversy, which I don't want to get into because that's just basically a meme in and of itself. 
and overall, I thought that the movie was good. If you don't like the movie, then hey, that's you. But overall, I had a good time. This is one of my, maybe up there with my top five favorite Pixar movies. So, let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about Turning Red? Did you love it? Did you dislike it? Let me know in the comments. And please be res and please respect other people's opinions in the comments who generally dislike or like the film film because I want to have a nice calm peaceful community so that's my wrap up on turning red you guys for watching and hopefully you guys like the format I have I have the picture of um the movie a picture of the movie I'm talking about because to be perfectly honest if to be perfectly honest I'm not prepared to have a, like a bunch of clips from the movie from the movie itself because one, I'm trying to avoid copyright, and because YouTube's copyright system can be a bit, can be a big rig, so, oh, yeah, I think this is the best route I can take, so, so this is, like, the best route I can take when, it, when I'm starting my movie reviews, so, anyways, guys, that's a wrap-up on, on my turning red review, I give this movie a, a, 8.5 out of 10. See you guys later.